Ezekiel is such a unique and extraordinary prophet in the scriptures. Remember at the beginning of his book he said, I saw the Lord and I saw the radiance around the Lord and it looked like a rainbow. I love Ezekiel. In the 36th chapter, in the 27th verse, Ezekiel writes this. He says, on God's behalf, God is speaking through Ezekiel and God is saying, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my ways. Ezekiel here is speaking of the new covenant and God is saying in the new covenant, which was fulfilled in Jesus, God says, I'm going to put my spirit in you and cause you to walk in my ways. I love that. It's such an encouragement to me to know that God is at work in my life and in your life, if you love him, to both will and to do for his own good pleasure. God's spirit is in, at work in you and I, imparting his divine nature to us so that we develop a, uh, develop a natural affinity to love what God loves and to do what he does. In other words, to walk in the ways of his spirit. This is not something that we are creating, but rather, beloved one, listen, it's something that God is creating in us. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. It began with him. It began with him revealing himself to us, the Father drawing us to him, and then the Father causing us, listen now, to be born again by a spirit. It was a supernatural work. When Jesus talked about being born again, he says those that were born, listen now, not of the will of man, nor the will of flesh, but of God. In other words, you're born again, you're born of God's Spirit because of something supernatural that God did. And in the same way that He caused you to be born again through nothing of yourself, you couldn't have produced it, God had to produce the new birth in your life. In the same way, similarly, God is continually imparting His nature to you, which transforms you and I, and eventually we find ourselves walking in His ways because of His power, His grace, and divine activity in our lives. I'm just so thankful that God is the awesome beginning and end of our faith, that we can trust Him who's faithful to complete in us what He began.